Tonight, we've got a gorgeous night for football here in Pittsburgh. On well, third down, they know that they have got to be able to account for Aaron Donald. He's in the middle. I mean, not only a double team, but how about a face mask? Official did not see that, but Notre Dame's offensive line, Brian Kelly has instructed them all week on third down. We have got to be able to account for Aaron Donald. In zone, got it. Touchdown, Daniels. He's got it at the goal line. Here comes number 23, looking for daylight. He's got speed, 25, 30, 40. Out near midfield and out of bounds. So Lafayette pits with a second and two as we start the second quarter. Play action, Savage moves the pocket. He's going to run for the first down, and he stops short of it. First helmet foul. to helmet. Up defense. defense, number seven, targeting uh -oh. by rule number seven. Is He's been ejected. Uh-oh. Now well, the Court of Appeals did not overturn it. Stephon it forced to leave the field. Middle, and they come underneath to the running back. A well-designed play, and Isaac Bennett. It's the second time now we've seen him dump it. The first one to Connor is a back. This time to Bennett. To lead Pitt seven nothing, but the Panthers are driving. A little screen to the outside, and Boyd's got a first down. Savage looks right, fires high, caught. Street goes up in the air. And Brent, right before the snap, we said he had one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside with, with Devin Street at 6-4. He high points to football. He puts it up away from Bennett Jackson. It was the velocity on the throw and the placement of the football from Savage. Tommy Reese. Jones in a foot race. 10 fumble ball loose Pittsburgh still loose but I think Pitt's got it they moved him out to defensive end this time Aaron Donald Flair Carlisle dropped it second down at nine needs to reach the 21 yard line for a first down Savage good protection and he's got that first down as he snapped it off again to Garner it's a great job of going up and making a catch Gardner shown some pretty good toughness to be able to hold on to the ball but he ended that half with a dandy Gets into this one again. Youngster's got a big leg. Drives Jones back to the 15, and he is lowered down. Wow, what great coverage that time. Trenton Coles again with a big play on special teams. Connor, of course, the running back. Second effort, still going. Touchdown. Hello. Pittsburgh discovers a big back. I mean, that old Steeler Jerome Bettis would be <laughs> proud of this run. A true freshman, and he's having a great night running the football tonight. Tremendous effort. Give the offense a line and assist. Play action from Reese. Goes downfield and got him. Here's Jones in a foot race. He's going to take it to the end zone. 220 left here with Connor. Off play action, Savage fires down the middle, complete. Devin Street breaks away. 30, 25, 20 foot race for the end zone. Pushed, dives, got it. 63 yards, and the Panthers are not going away. We've had one big play after another here so far in the third quarter. We still got two minutes to go. Reese is back. He's firing deep down the middle now. Jump ball incomplete. And uh, he was covered by Williams down there. K1 Williams can cover. And to give it to Jones again on that end of round, that was successful earlier, but not this time because Lafayette pips. Only 5 of 14 in that first half. Second down and goal now. Reese moves the pocket right, lobs back, intercepted. Picked off in the back of the end zone. Oh, what a huge turnover. Venipal, Ray Venipal, the starting safety. Now watch him, he looks up, he finds the receiver, then he starts to move over. Tommy Reese never even saw him. And by the way, if Venipal didn't make the interception, I'm not so sure that Kwan Williams wouldn't have made it himself. Savage on first down. No to it. Fire 
fires right into the middle, complete to midfield. He goes right back to Boyd. I love watching Tommy Savage get back in that pocket. I mean, he stands back there with some confidence, doesn't he? They bring the pressure. It's picked up by the freshman, James Conner. And once that, that pressure is picked up, now it's just a matter of stepping up, get your feet set, putting the ball right where Boyd can make a play on it. Alabama, of course, if they win it, will stay number one. Florida State will move to two. No question about that. Hit on the throw, and it's an incomplete pass. Prince, it's a free ball, Brent. Free is it ball. free? Yeah. That was not a whistle. I was Bennett saved the day then when he got <laughs> over on it. McDaniel. Downfield middle intercepted. Picked off by Venipal. His second consecutive interception. Trying to get to the end zone. Out of bounds, I believe, back on the five-yard line. That's Venipal's second interception of the night against Tommy Reese. The Irish passing game is melting down here in Pittsburgh. Fire. Diving toward the end zone was Holtz. And here comes the hammer. Big what? number 40, James Conner, on this second down and goal. This time it is Connor. Touchdown. What a big night for this freshman, James Connor. Tommy Reese, last two passes, interceptions. Let's see how he responds. They're not going to wait. They're going to put it right back up in the air to Jones, and he's ridden out of bounds by Williams. Not flashy. Not at all. No, he's but you talk about a solid football man from good a football it, family. Good as it gets. You're talking about Paul Christ. And now he's 233 away from the biggest victory of his head coaching career here at Pittsburgh. Fourth down and 11. Reese firing, knocked away. A beautiful defensive play by Anthony Gonzalez, the converted quarterback who now plays linebacker. And Gonzalez makes the play. And Gonzalez is matched up against a big, tall, wide receiver, and he finds the football at the last moment and knocks it away. This pretty much sums it up. Victory formation coming. This is just a great effort by these young men and this entire coaching staff here at Pittsburgh. What does a win like this do to your program? Well, I mean, it's uh, obviously it's big, and uh, but it's for these kids, you know, and it really is. That's not the coach speak right there. I mean, I'm happy for this group of guys, and, and they put it out there, and uh, it, it's uh, it's big, big for them, and, and certainly it's anytime you beat you know a program like Notre Dame, it's it's a big thing. But I'm really happy for this group of guys.